Hello everyone, David Hedge here of House Hedge Gaming and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I have this copy of A Gentle Rain from Incredible Dream and it's a nice little reset game of the mind if you will. So basically in this game you're supposed to put your PJs on, get comfortable, have a nice cup of tea, put on some relaxing music and the premise of the game is that you're sitting on the side of a lake and you're in the middle of this rain shower and you're watching the scenery unfold in front of you where certain conditions can be met that a rare blossom can bloom on this lake and I wanted to play this for everybody today and just show you how to play it's really quick and easy but also to just talk to you and let you know what's going on this in for uh, Gen Con prep and everything just to check in with y'all so let's go on ahead and get started all right, so I'm going to take the top tile here, and we'll just start playing off of this tile. Basically, you match up the different blossoms, and if you're able to complete a circle in between four tiles, then you're able to lay down a special bloom, which are these little pieces right here. But yeah, let's so let's get started and see what unfolds. Uh, first off, I want to talk to everybody, and hopefully everybody can uh, is doing well and you're staying safe. I know it's been hotter than anything else out there recently, but I really hope that everybody's just staying um, safe and staying hydrated and staying cool, uh, which I know it can be hard. Uh, everybody's having to go out and get stuff done, whether to go to work, uh, go to groceries, go get stuff for your next adventure and everything. Um, but if you're going out, definitely stay as cool as you can and stay hydrated. Uh, as for myself, I'll be working tomorrow. Um, full disclosure, I'm filming this on Saturday the 12th of July. Tomorrow is the 13th, I'll be down at Berglund and I'll be working the Brit Floyd uh, laser show at night for the Berglund Center. Now, here in Roanoke with the heat index is going to be around 100 degrees, so I'll be there in khaki pants and just uh, getting everything ready for people to enjoy the show. It's going to be a hot one, but I'm going to do my best to stay safe, and hopefully you all will be uh, doing that as well uh, while you're out and about. Uh, as far as Gen Con prep goes, uh, where can I put you? I'll put you over here. Uh, Gen Con prep so far has been pretty good. I have a few things left for the consignment store. I need to uh, sticker and price. But once I do that uh, and get my commander stuff ready, I should be good. And hey, there we go. We got a little blossom right there. Let's put you right there. Uh, commander decks are pretty much done. I'll have a video for those next week so everybody can see what I'm taking with me. Uh, the one thing about me and my commander decks, a lot of them I do have stories, like little backgrounds behind them and the reason why they're in my collection. So, I get to share that with you all, and hopefully uh, you'll join me for that video next week. Uh, where can I put you? So, speaking of Gen Con, um, just recently uh, I put out the itinerary video and what we're going to be doing while we're there in Indy. And there's just a whole lot of stuff. Actually, can I put you there? Oh, it's different purple. All right. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. Uh, and a lot of stuff changed when I did that itinerary video. Uh, so Wizard of the Coast announced that they're going to be part of Gen Con this year along with Hasbro. And they're doing a lot of events to celebrate D&D's 50th and also to celebrate Magic the Gathering. And they're going to have game nights live there. And it just so happened to be on Friday, and I was looking for something to do on Friday. I know originally I had planned to do the AEG Big Game Night, which hopefully I can do that again at some point. But in truth, I'll be able to do Game Night, uh, the Big Game Night for AEG at another Gen Con. Uh, but as far as going to a Game Nights Live and see the Command Zone crew play, uh, commander and be in an interactive show it's not really in the cards for me like I don't really get to travel to any of the magic cons so having this opportunity at Gen Con to go and watch this unfold 
I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And plus, it's Bloomboro, so somebody better be dressing up as a squirrel. Um, if I had to guess from the game uh, Command Zone crew, I would think Rachel uh, Weeks is going to end up being the oh, what animals are in Bloomboro? There's a whole different ones. That's if you're unfamiliar with Bloomboro, uh, think of the book series Redwall. Uh, which is a tremendous book series. Um, my wife saw that they're doing the Bloomboro set. It looks like Redwall, and she is really enthusiastic about it. Got another little bloom right there. Um, but I think Rachel will end up being, uh, I want to say a bat. I don't know why, but I think she would be a bat. Jimmy would end up being a squirrel. And I think Josh would end up being a I want to say a raccoon but then again they might go a different route and have him be a calamity beast which would be pretty cool uh, so if the command zone crew actually sees this and if I get it right please have me on stage uh, so I can be recognized as going like hey uh, he got it right uh, and hopefully It'll be a great time. I'll be attending that event with my friend Joey Harris. I've known him for way too long. <laughs> We've been friends for a good long time. And I'll be able to go and hang out with him while Cindy and Hani and Jen will be heading up to Chicago to go to Lollapalooza. Uh, let's see. Let's put you here. Uh, but it's really neat to have Magic to be part of Gen Con again because that was where it got started oh so many years ago. And now they're having it back in full force, and I'm anxious to see what they do with it. Um, also, I have two friends of mine, uh, Sorrel and Wesley, who went to Gen Con a couple years ago. They're on a video back from 2022. They're going to be volunteering for True Dungeon uh, this year. I think they're going to be actually in the dungeon area itself doing some stuff from them. So if you end up seeing them, and if you caught the videos from last year, uh, if you see them, just go by, say hi. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're two tremendous people that I've known for a good bit. And I'm glad they're actually able to have a chance to work with True Dungeon and volunteer for them. Um, hopefully I can do that again next year too, because volunteering for True Dungeon was just so much fun. And just that whole group was... Uh, it was a blast to be with them and just that whole uh, dynamic of just like a family feel to working with them uh, was just awesome. Uh, but do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know how your prep's going. Let me know what's going on with you, uh, how you're getting ready for your next adventure, whether it be for Gen Con, whether it be for um, Dragon Con coming up. I know there's a lot of cosplayers are still like getting all their stuff together for that. Um, but just let me know how you're doing and just check in, see what's going on on your end and hopefully you're being safe and, um, staying cool while just, uh, preparing for your next adventures or just, I mean, life is an adventure itself this day and age with everything going on. Say, so, yeah, I just want to, just wanted to come on here and play this a little bit. And just check in with everybody, you know? Because sometimes everybody just needs to have somebody just go, Hey, everything okay? Everything all right? Um, and you just go from there. Which, if I haven't said it in the video before, I want to make sure I'll, since I'm getting towards the end of this little stack here, I do want to mention one thing. Um, I could not thank you all enough. Everybody who commented and checked in over the past several months uh, when my dad passed. That means more to me than you all will ever know. I can't thank you all enough for being there. Um, and hopefully I can see a lot of you in Indy. Uh, it was really cool last year. My dad got the, got the biggest kick out of it when I was telling him about how people just saw my videos and everything and they started yelling out, House! And everything, and it really, it really was an awesome feeling, and just a cool experience to just be able to meet everybody, and to just hang out and 
talk for a minute, get some people to sign some cards. And hopefully I can do a lot more of that this year. Uh, let's see, where am I going to put this last one? I think I'm going to have you... If I could only flip you a different way, it's okay. All right, um, this last one I'm just going to put right here. There's not really anywhere else I can truly match that one that I can see. Uh, but that's it for this little gentle rain. Uh, only two blossoms bloom this time, but you know what? I really like how this expanded while I was talking to you. Uh, this is a really easy game. It only plays like within like 10, 15 minutes, if that. Um, I know usually you would have relaxing music and all, but being able to just talk to y'all for a little bit and just let stuff flow off my mind while I'm playing uh, was really cool. And hopefully you all enjoyed this little respite as I get ready for a Gen Con. Uh, there's a few more videos that will be coming up in the next few next couple weeks. I would say a few weeks, but Gen Con's only a couple weeks away. And hopefully you all will in, you all will enjoy those and join me for those. And then we'll be off to Indy, and I'll do as much coverage as I can, and then some, my friends. But hopefully you all enjoyed this, and thank you all for watching. And until next time, stay safe and take care.